Hello guys, it's Bob here, welcome to another video. I um, haven't done a video for a while and I'm just about to do a bit of magic actually. Um, what am I going to do? Yeah, I'm just I'm about to play Khan, or about to play against Khan I should say. Uh, he's a planeswalker. Well they're all planeswalkers actually aren't they? And uh, you must excuse me if you can hear Sisters Mercy in the background. Uh, this is a, a Wine and Sisters of Mercy fueled game of magic. Um, and strange, I'm also playing with a vampire deck, so it's all very gothy. Uh, this this video. Uh, I've been mucking about with lots of different decks. Uh, I quite like this girl's deck, Kiora, Kiora, a tour, stupid name, but it's blue green, and I've always been a fan of blue green, and I played that for a bit. And I quite like that, but then I got to Sorin Markov, another stupid fancy name, and uh, and he's got a, vamp a mono black vampire deck. So I've been playing with that. And I think I've kind of sort of defeated all of the. Uh, it's Alice, by the way, you know, playing in the background. Uh, fantastic song. But anyway, I've um, I've played f I've played and beaten all of these planeswalkers, and I've unlocked some cards. What I probably should do is just go back and have a look to see what the deck's looking like. I've I've got five cards to unlock though, so I don't know if they're all unlocked. The rest of those are unlocked when I beat Noobie Noob Hat, whatever his name is. But yeah, I've been mucking about with the deck. Um, taking cards in and out, so uh, save changes and go back. Let's go back to the campaign. So I'm about to use a mono black vampire deck, which actually uh, turned out not to be that interesting, really. Uh, the mechanics of it are quite basic. Got a few things there, a few combos and things, but it's quite basic. Um, I beat this bloke, Gideon Dura. I beat him easy, easily beat him. Um, he seems to be the guy who's on the front of the game and there's a bit of a video with him but he was rubbish uh, I can't remember what deck it was, I think it was white actually uh, I think the one that, I think the, the, the one I found the hardest to beat with this deck was Jace Bellerin he's mono blue so he's like yeah yeah, I'll let you do that, I'll let you do that, I'll let you do that, I'll let you do that so that's really annoying anyway <coughs> let's play Khan the deck's called oh Khan is a silver golem and the only planeswalker who was not made, he was made not born. He, Khan, of course, created the plane of Mirrodin. If you, you, you magic facts guys out there, here we go. I hope you like Sisters Mercy because I love them, so they're going to be playing through this video. But I hope it's, I've kind of tried to arrange it so it's low enough. I've tested it, not to annoy anyone who doesn't really like them. Here we go. Right, first hand. Four swamps, and uh, it's not a brilliant hand. Four swamps, uh, destruction spell. A couple of creatures. Problem with this hand is if I if I if I keep drawing more land, I'm just going to get swamp with land. It's going to be crap. But I do ha at least I do have land. <laughs> That's the. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure whether to keep that deck or not. Um, I don't know. What should I do? What should I do? I'll keep this hand for this game. And let's see what happens. Khan's going first. He's playing blue, of course. I'm assuming he's had lots of artifacts. F Holy smoke! Okay, he's playing a card from one of the rarest, well, probably the rarest set of cards in the whole ma a whole of Magic. Forget about like a standard or whatever. He's playing a Mock Sapphire. Fine. Okay, <laughs> that's not fair, really. And it's a shiny one. So on turn one he gets out his untapped target artifact. Oh, this is going to be horrible, this deck. It's going to be like millions of artifacts coming out really quickly and then all lots of combo stuff going. But I wonder if I can play his deck if I win. Which is... Uh... Alright, should I put a creature out and start, start pinging him? I don't know. See, the kicker thing's not going to come in for another couple of turns. I'm going to play a creature.
Buy sticks, look for a land. Look for another, okay. Ah, see, here we go. I kept the four land and I've just drawn two land. That's rubbish. I don't want to draw any more bloody land. tapped his little mox there for a, for a blue well done and I've just drawn another land you know I said at the beginning of the game you know I've kept my four swamps um, and all I've done drawn is swamps and that's just shit luck that is but what I can do I mean I can I can kill his dude so I can give it minus three minus three and kill it and then I can tap my two vampires to give them plus one plus one Oop. Plus one, plus one counter. I'm going to attack them with a vampire battle. I just noticed that. I don't know if you know if you can if you're getting that, but he looks a bit like Bruce Forsyth. I think this uh, this bat. So we're going to attack Khan with, with a bit of Bruce, a bit of Brucey. turn so let's continue he seems to be stuck on four mana at the moment I guess I should be count the blessings he's got no swamps though so let's attack with a little flyer again for one damage it's kind of not going too badly he's got three cards left in his hand they could be mega 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 cards um, but they might not be and he, he's, he does seem a bit stuck for mana so well he's got four you know but he hasn't played any for it. I don't think he played any last turn. Oh, and he's played. He hasn't played any land this turn either. Now I'm going to take take the five on the chin there from uh, old Rockface. I reckon. Got my little Brucey there. He'll keep plugging away. So, oh, oh God, Gollum's heart. Whenever you, whenever a player casts an effect spell, okay. So he could be gaining some life here. So he might play an artifact spell, I suppose. Here we go. Draw another land. You know what I've drawn? How many cards have I drawn so far? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've drawn 5 cards and 4 of them have been land. That's crap. But now this guy, what happens here is you play with the top card of your library revealed. If it's black, all your vampires get plus 2, plus 1 and have flying. It'd probably be a bloody land because land's colourless. No, it's not. Right, so that's a guess a good turn because I've now got, I've now got like Bruce. Bruce is still only a only a one one, but my, my rural vampires they're now four three flying and he's five four flying. So that that's good. Um,
Right, so looking at the crazy deck that he's got, like playing mock sapphires and stupid things, you know, the, he could he could play something next turn and, oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> but but things are looking okay at the moment. I have to say, he's going to attack. So I don't I don't want to block. But I'm not going. I'm not going to tap any creatures because I want to attack with them. I haven't got a particularly great card coming up next turn. Well, actually, that's no, vampire, and I can pump it up. So. Okay, so that that's what that's the the thing about this game. You make a stupid mistake. I should have just attacked with everything, essentially, <laughs> and um, you know, and won the game. But no, I've given him a chance. That was really stupid. So he's now going to kill my bloke. Although I think I'll probably kill his bloke, will I?
It's an educational tool for, for your young kids playing magic because that was pretty bad. Khan has defeated Incantus. Well, there you go. And I think uh, on that note, I think that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys.